On the sagittal T1 weighted image, there is absence of the inferior vermis with a large cyst-like structure communicating between the cisterna magna and the fourth ventricle. A keyhole configuration is demonstrated on the axial flare weighted images where prominent CSF pulsations are identified. The absence of the inferior vermis and organization of the paramedian folia of the right and left cerebellar hemispheres are nicely demonstrated on the axial T2 weighted image. There is absence of the transversing pontine fibers from the middle cerebellar peduncles on the color-coded fractional anisotropy maps. A more superior axial image extending through both the posterior cranial fossa and temporal horns of the lateral ventricles demonstrate at least moderate supertatorial hydrocephalus. There is prominent susceptibility artifact from a shunt valve in the right occipitotemporal region. This is a case of Dandy Walker malformation, which is the most common posterior fossa malformation. Features include hypoplasia of the vermis with cephalic rotation of the vermian remnant, cystic dilatation of the fourth ventricle extending posteriorly, and an enlarged posterior cranial fossa with torcular lambdoid inversion. Estimated prevalence is about 1 out of every 30,000 live births, accounting for approximately 80% of cases of infantile hydrocephalus. There are numerous associations in both the non-syndromic and syndromic setting. Some of the CNS associations include cortical migration anomalies and dysgenesis of the corpus callosum. Non-CNS anomalies include cleft palate, loose ears, and cardiac anomalies.